A library can be an interesting and helpful place when you know how to use it. It should have been a big help to Betty. But Betty had never really learned to use the library. To her, it was just a room full of books. Somewhere among all these books were the ones she needed. But where? Which ones were they? Would this one help her? No, it didn't help a bit. Maybe one of the others. No. The library was just too confusing. So Betty gave up and decided to take her troubles to her older cousin, John. Hi, John. Hi. Well, what's the matter with you? Oh, my civics teacher told me to go get a book at the library. Well, what about it? You know very well that I don't know much about... Is that a library book? Yes. Well, how did you get it? I mean... I mean, how did you get the book that you wanted? The same way I always... Oh, I see what you mean. Well, it's really very simple, Betty. I started by going to the card catalog. Yes, the card catalog is where you find out what books there are in the library. The cards are arranged alphabetically. One way to look up books is by the subject you're interested in, such as television. In the same alphabetical listing, you can also look up books by title. Of course, you have to know the titles of the books you want. Still another way to locate books is by the last name of the author. Remember, too, that the library has other materials besides books. For instance, there's the vertical file, arranged by subject, which contains current pamphlets put out by government agencies, chambers of commerce, and other organizations. You can also get a lot of help from various other sources, such as the Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature, which is an index of magazine articles, and, of course, from general reference works, such as encyclopedias. The librarian will help you find almost anything that's in the library and advise you about what to choose. The library is nothing to be afraid of. The best thing for you to do is to go right over to school, go to the library, and get that book you need. You mean now? Right now. It's not too late. When Betty got to the door of the library, she was feeling rather shy. But the librarian, Miss Nicholson, looked so kind and helpful that Betty went right up to her and asked for help in getting material for her assignment. Miss Nicholson was glad to help. Betty explained that she had to make a report for civics and that her teacher had suggested she go to the library to find some information on the conservation of natural resources. Miss Nicholson said she'd be happy to show Betty how to find some books and other materials for her assignment. First, she took Betty to the encyclopedias and got out the index volume. Sure enough, there were some references to conservation. Miss Nicholson pointed out that encyclopedias or general references are good places to begin almost any assignment because the articles they contain are rather general and let you get an idea of the whole subject in a short time. Miss Nicholson put the volume aside for Betty. Then they went to the card catalog. First, they found the right drawer for conservation. Miss Nicholson looked through the cards for those relating to Betty's subject, 
conservation of natural resources. The card she found said, see natural resources. So they had to go to another drawer of the card catalog. Now Ms. Nicholson began looking for cards relating to natural resources. There certainly were a lot of cards. As Betty now went on looking through them, Miss Nicholson explained that while titles are often good indicators of a book's contents, some of the cards have summaries, which might also help Betty find the books most directly related to her assignment. Betty found three cards that seemed to have what she wanted. Miss Nicholson pointed out that in the upper left-hand corner is the call number, which is assigned to each book. So Betty wrote down the call numbers of the three books she had selected, along with the author's names and the titles. Betty then learned how books in almost all libraries are divided into ten main sections, according to what is known as the Dewey Decimal Classification System. Each section deals with a particular subject. For example, Call numbers in the 200s indicate books on religion and mythology. Numbers in the 300s indicate books on the social sciences. This is where Betty would find the books she had chosen from the card catalog. It wasn't hard at all. The books are arranged in order. First by the main class number, and then by the last name of the author. As she found each book, Betty glanced through the table of contents. The first book appeared to be just what she wanted. In fact, all three books that Betty found seemed useful. She added them to the reference work Miss Nicholson had put aside earlier. Then Miss Nicholson brought over several volumes of the Reader's Guide. She explained that this is an index to the more popular magazine literature published. Under headings such as Conservation of Resources are listed the various magazines which contain articles dealing with that subject. Miss Nicholson took Betty to get one of the magazines in the listing. By now, Betty had more than enough material to complete her assignment in good order. Just a little more than an hour had passed since she had left her cousin John's house. I'm back. Well, how'd it go? Oh, I got some wonderful books. Wasn't it easy? You were right. It didn't take me any time at all to get the material I needed. See? Now, aren't you glad you got to know the library? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, hey, I've got to be getting home for dinner. But don't worry any more about me in the library. It's really very simple once you know how. Goodbye. Now, when Betty goes into the library, she knows that the librarian is there to help her and that all she has to do is know how to use the card catalog, how to use the call numbers to find the books on the shelves, and how to find what she wants in reference books, such as encyclopedias and the Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature. Betty has found that a library is really an interesting and useful place when you know your library.